Madge, is this is this the ultimate contest for you? Take out the semi final, take out the importance of the occasion, the World Cup. It's the Kiwis against the Kangaroos, mate. Yeah, I, I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Um, you know, there's been a lot of preparation over the years, and uh, yeah, we've always talked about the World Cup and you know, whoever you have to play you, is uh, in the path of um, chasing chasing the World Cup. So uh, this is our next um, opportunity to get out there and uh, you know get another win and and progress to where we want to get to. Are they always the yardstick for you when it comes to International League? Uh, I've based a lot about how we go about our style and who we are as a group, more about ourselves. Um, you know, it's, it's it's more about how we want to go about the way we play. You know, Australia or England or Tonga or Samoa, you know, everyone's got their own game and their style and their players. But um, I've been pretty big on competing within and, and the players themselves reaching new heights uh, as a group so it's something there that has been a focus since I've sort of been with the jersey and uh, you know I've been able to bring through a number of the players now over the years um, uh, Joey Tarpane, uh, you know Fisher Harris uh, you know Moses Leo is an, a later one that's come on uh, Dylan Brown so a lot of these players have sort of been around now and you know having the experience of someone like Jesse Bromwich uh, Jerome Hughes you know he's more of a senior player now it's um, we've got a really good blend amongst the group, so obviously it presents a really good opportunity for us uh, into the game ahead. Wow, when you just when you read out those names, I mean, these are some of the very best players in the game. So I suppose what I'm going to go to next is, as a coach, you've coached through you know all kinds of club teams, everything that you've done in your career. When it comes to a group of players like this, who are all just you know really highly rated players and and have all overachieved as well. Does it change the way that you look at motivating them, or you know, getting them up, geeing them up for a game? How do you? How do? You, is it? Is it any different from how you would do it with a with a bunch of players that aren't high class internationals like this? Yeah, there, there definitely is a little difference, man. I, I mean, I've really enjoyed coaching the players. They're um, you know, when you've got players at the top level, uh, yeah, they understand their roles and they play their part. It's just such a high level, and when you bring them together. Um, Training is actually really enjoyable, you know, and then obviously going and seeing them produce that in the games at, at, at another level. But yeah, you know, when you're dealing with you know players that are classed as world class and probably some of the best in their positions, then it makes life as a coach a little easier because then you can really you know, strategize and work out you know, little parts of what you want to improve on as a group, rather than when you're obviously dealing with some younger guys. Uh, you know, and they're all mixed across different levels. It is different coaching. So look, I, I've definitely learned. Um, especially over the years, the differences of coaching at this level, um, but it is so enjoyable. Um, you know, and it's actually a real pleasure to coach them. Madge McGuire is with us, Kiwis coach. What a blockbuster semi-final we've got against the Kangaroos coming on the weekend. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it a case of um, these guys uh, have to almost uh, set their own standards with each other and with themselves? You know, how much of, of that is hands-on for you, or do you actually look at them and go, "Okay, these guys know what the hell they're doing." Uh, what is your role as opposed to giving them so many instructions and things? Are they are they motivated enough and everything else to be able to do a lot of this themselves? Oh, as a as a group, we definitely discuss expectations and standards. Uh, yeah, but when you're dealing with players like I have, those standards and expectations are through the roof. Uh, so look, you know, you you still got to go through the process of building your team. And the old saying is that you know you can have a lot of talent, but if you don't have the the team ethos and the culture right. Well, you don't have uh, the outcomes of what we're chasing, so it's something there that we've all spoken about, and uh, you know that's got to come to fruition, uh, you know, against Australia. Yeah, look, and uh, you know, I was listening through um, the the presser that you're doing there, and I knew that there's going to be a lot of questions asked about you know whether you gave the team a spray or whatever. And as soon as I read those kind of headlines, I just think it's exaggerative, and somebody's taking a stick to this. I've talked to you before. You don't appear to me to be the kind of man that needs to do that. I mean, you're a calming kind of coach. I mean, you, you can have stern words, but it's not like going and thrashing around a dressing room, is it? No, not at all. No. Thank you. Quite, yeah, well, I think it's more around, yeah, the fact that there's a lot of passion around what we want to achieve. Uh, yeah, there wasn't harsh words. It was more about, look, you know, realise where we're at and you know, we, we now move forward into the next game. Uh, and that was something there that was really spoken about. So, like always, they uh, they tend to blow things up. Yes, but yes. I've got a I've got a playing group that they understand what they want to achieve, and yeah, you know, we all I should say is want to achieve. So it's um it's right in front of us now, and you know as I said, the semi finals the next step to get to um yeah you know, the larger goal of what uh, 
we've set, but you know, we, we've got to look in the present now and make sure that uh, we're at our best on Friday. I love the psychology of it, and I could talk to you for hours about this because I just love getting inside your brain and asking these kind of kind of questions. How much of it, in terms of that game plan, is not looking at Australia, looking at their place? We already know, you already know, the players already know who's in front of them. I mean, these are world class players. I mean, we know we didn't have to say that. How much of it concentrates on lads? It's about how what we do, how we start. So important that start, how we play our game, how we stick to our game. Oh, definitely. It's, I mean, you've got 80 minutes to be able to achieve and every little moment in that game is going to play a part. And uh, I always say if a player's doing his role at the highest level and we're, we're winning all the little moments, well, you know, the outcomes tend to sort themselves out. So look, we're aware of what's across from us. Uh, you know, the players play against these players and they watch them, um, you know, many times. So it's about, you know, really being strong as a team. And I'm very, very big on that about how we are as a group, you know, and it's always about helping your brother and, your mate there that's uh, you know beside you, and it's something there that's grown within this group. That you know, if it comes out um, more often than not, well, you're going to get a nice result. How, how 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 difficult is it for you to? I mean, the decisions you make, the decisions. That's what you do. How difficult is it to convey some of those decisions and tell players? There's going to be disappointment, and then I suppose what you've got to look at is okay. You know, you, your job once you've been told if you're not playing is then to look at your mate who is playing and actually you know, do your very best to get him prepared as well. Do you have to do a lot of talking around that or or it again, or is it again with a group of players like this, they already know this? Uh, the players, they, they do know it. They've, um, you know, I've got to make decisions as a coach, uh, but they're all here for the same reason. And that's that's what we've all set out to do. And, you know, I can say that the support that the players that aren't playing give and how they go about their training is at a really high level. Uh, yeah, they're all here for the same reason. We all want to... You know, be successful for the country and for New Zealand and everyone back home. So, you know, I've spoken and you know quite openly about how they do talk about that, and um, you know the the people back in New Zealand, you know, uh, they mean a hell of a lot. You know, and it's not only for that, but it's for the game. So, you know, there's there's a lot that we do talk about, but it'll come down to the players focusing on themselves and and playing for each other when they get out there on the field. Mitch, you know, I, I haven't asked a single single question about Fiji and about the quarter final because it's gone. And I mean, I just feel like yeah. if I ask you about that, it, it's 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 irrelevant now. The game, the next game, is the World Cup final, isn't it? As far as as far as you're concerned, it's the only thing that matters now, aren't it? Uh, yeah, when you're playing in a tournament like this, you've just got to make sure that you you keep being successful because the next one um, is the most important thing that you you move towards. And yeah, that one's done and dusted now. And yeah, we've looked at various things that we need to and. You know, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's about uh, what we've just spoken about. Everyone turning up, ready to go against Australia at the kickoff. Yeah, you know, we've got to start, have a good start, and off we go. How do you how do you kind of prick the balloon so that that we don't? Or we not say we got here in my part. That, that the players don't play the game before the game is played. Uh, that comes down to the week that you set up. I've got a really good staff. I've got a really good group of uh, staff around myself, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of experience within that staff and. We all know that the ultimate is to get to the 80 minutes ready to go, and uh, you know the prep that you have, and it's very calculated, and we all talk about it. Uh, so it's about making sure that the 80 minutes is the most important part of the week, but the way you prepare plays a massive part in how that comes out. You've also got a brain on the other side. I mean, that guy Mel, I know he's, he, you know, people falsely criticise him for Queensland, and that we know, and I know that you know what a great coach and what a man motivated that man is. Oh, look, he's a he's a great great coach. He's he's. You know, he's got a lot of success as a coach and a player, so uh, you always respect those people within. Um, but uh, you know, we, we've we've got a game plan that we want to execute, and we've got to make sure that uh, you know, we get that right. Then you know, all those sorts of things that you've just talked about, um, you know, will disappear. And finally, look, I go back to the early 1980s when Lowy was coaching. I know that you're the sort of similar kind of age and things. And, and beating Australia at league is a bit like beating them at cricket, is a bit like the Wallabies beating the All Blacks. It doesn't happen you know, that often, but by God, it's good when it happens. And it's just about getting absolutely everything right on this day. The only thing that matters is this game, this day, that pitch. Yeah, I can't think of anything more than uh, getting the best performance we've played to this day and getting the result. That's... Uh... That's my focus uh, and all my staff's focus and all the players' focus. And uh, it's, it's uh, all about this game now. Wonderful, mate. Thank you so much for giving us some extra minutes at the end of that. Utterly appreciate it. Go, go and get him, mate. Yeah, good on you. Thanks a lot for that.